Hey friends, it's Dimitri with Rebrashka Streetwear, a quick shipping tip video. So for the longest time, if I had small items like patches, stickers, pins, other stuff, I would ship them in these, I believe they're six by 10 bubble mailers. And one day this month, I just realized that they're a little bit too big. And I was like, all right, let's compare the costs and find something smaller. And I found these ones that are significantly smaller because I don't really need a bubble mailer this big for a lot a lot of the stuff that I'm shipping. And they're obviously cheaper, so that's why I chose to go with these ones. And they perform just as well. They're, they have a bubble mailer material in here. And what I really like about them, obviously other than they're cheaper, is that they are just small enough or just big enough to accommodate a four by six shipping label which is great so I'm not gonna go any smaller than this for bubble mailers uh, and the reason why is because then that will kind of be a hassle to try to put on a label effectively and actually what this video is uh, really about is a better way to put on shipping labels so if you are using a smaller bubble mailer you might run into an interesting issue and that is the mailer will kind of tend to warp a lot and get really round. And this will basically make it more difficult to put a shipping label on. So what I figured out was it's so much easier to put the shipping label on first if you are using these smaller mailers. I never do this for the other mailers like this one and other ones because it just never kind of bulges out like that. So. I'll show you what it's like to put it on if you put in the product first. It's a little bit not as pleasant as you could tell because you're having to deal with the warpedness nature of this. See, it's it's just not as fun. And I know this sounds like a little a small thing, but if you're packaging a lot of items throughout the day, it's honestly kind of frustrating to deal with this rather than this. This is really smooth. And then once it's adhered to on really well, you can put in your items. Now, obviously it's gonna bulge after that, but it's adhered better. Whereas with this, you're having to struggle and fight it and it's kind of annoying. So that's kind of my shipping tip for the day. Use smaller mailers like this size. And apparently these were five by eight or something on the website, but they're actually a little bit smaller as you could tell. So they're not entirely accurate to whatever was stated on there, but that's what I purchased on the website 5 by 8 So get mailers that are just a little bit bigger than the 4 by 6 label and put on the label, the shipping label, before you package it with stuff that might make it bulge out like that. It's just a little bit easier and it'd be less frustrating for you. So yeah, hope you guys like this video and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.